Hey guys, Tofu here, and welcome back to some more AI, the Somnium Files. Um, where we left off last time was pretty cool, getting to meet Iris's mom, and, and then realizing that's where the crime scene from the first dream took place is pretty cool. It creased me out, because I'm terrified they're going to die, and I want to save them, obviously. But, um, I wonder if we're going to do anything about that. But anyway, um, after that long day of hustling a young kid to take his, steal his girl... <laughs> Not that we want to, but Iris was super into us, so she could go see a crime scene. And uh, just a general in event eventful day as a detective, I guess. I mean, we're like a special agent, a part of the, the police department. But anyway, um, we're here again. We returned back to headquarters to basically probably debrief with the boss. So let's see how it goes. Um, I'm not sure what's in store for us, but we'll uh, we'll find out. Welcome back. Hey, boss. What's good? I brought her here after her examination was over. Oh, my my roommate? My roommate's here? Oh, shit. How you doing? Oh, she looks Sweet. fucking up. She looks torn. Oh, poor girl. Yeah, she doesn't want to talk to anybody. Anything? No, still can't talk. <sighs> oh, God. Was it okay for you to bring her here? I got permission from the hospital. Okay. Apparently, the hospital director has been poking a few of the nurses. Poking? So I asked him about that, and all of a sudden, he's oh. very open to the idea. <laughs> I got it now. I see. I see. He's too busy, you know. <laughs> That's so bad. He's dishing out free promotions. <laughs> That's disgusting. Um... A lot of blatant work, f workplace uh, naughtiness. But at least we got her out of there, because I don't want her there anymore. She probably would be safer, at least with Date, or Boss, to be fair. That's not permission, it's blackmail. I mean, whatever you gotta do to get the job done. Eh, same thing. You know what you need to do now, right? What, I have to go into her mind? Sync with her. What? I have to do what? What do, I, what do you mean, sync with her? Like, am I gonna go somnium all up in her brain cells? Oh my god, we are gonna do that. Seriously? We're gonna, like, put ourselves into her brain and, like, fight crime? Oh, hey, look, it's this dude. I forgot your name. Uh, Pewter! Hey, man. Hey, Pewter? About Iba. Why is no one. Could you do something about her? Personality. Why is no one else here? Actually, I don't want you to change her personality. I like Do her personality. Something about it? It wouldn't kill her to be more modest. Maybe a little more ladylike. I mean, if you dare reprogram me, I will self-destruct the more I suck. Thank you, Iva. Thank you for being serious about it. Huh. So you were listening, huh? I guess he is kind of just, you know. So strange things, strange the characters and figures scroll across the monitor. So I guess we just aren't really savvy to what's going down binder a binder full of papers it looks like the manual for the psych machine okay so there's a locker searching classic alternative progressive that's rock <laughs> oh my god that's funny i opened it up it's completely packed with books huh they're all homo rock <laughs> Oh, this game. Just throw in some curveballs. It's all that homoerotic boy love manga and gay romance novels. Interesting, Pewter. Interesting. Hey, man, his choices are his choices. I ain't gonna judge. This kind of furniture is often used for pile drivers in professional wrestling. Oh, my God. Iva, you're well, amazing. Where on earth did you learn that? From TV. Or your brain, because you'd pay attention to those facts, too. Um, a metal placed against the wall. So there's nothing important there. There's a door. Door to the sink room. So I don't want to go down there just yet. This is off. These are all monitors, binders. I, we could probably just ask Pewter some more stuff. Her vitals are stable. So on like a physical level, she's fine. But like Her EEG is also stable. I think we can proceed. Okay. That's Pewter. His real name is Aminoma, but he goes by Pewter here. Yeah, I'd prefer Pewter too if that was my actual name. Thirty-six years old. He's a member of Abyss, like me. Or Ibis. Um, he's a genius engineer that designed the sync system and other machines. He also invented Iba. And uh, he's her caretaker in a way. Uh, okay. Sure this is okay? She's only 12. Yeah, I don't like that you're doing sure this to this her. Sure this is okay? 
Like, I get we need to get the case, <laughs> the but still. I can guarantee that. I mean, I'm not asking from, like, a pure safety standard, Peter. I'm asking from, like, a pure, uh, can we in good... I mean, this is unethical, realistically speaking, because I don't think she consented to this. We just got to put her in the chair. Um, you know, we didn't make her sign a form. I mean, technically, I have guardianship, which personally skews this entire thing. Um, just gonna say... It's pretty unfair, but... You have nothing to worry about. I'm not personally worried, though, Peter. I'm more worried about her emotional state. Like... Yuzuki's lying in the same machine on the other side of the glass. She, she's just there. Renju Okiura's Mizuki's... Oh, so I'm not even guardian. I'm just roommate. Did you get permission from him? I couldn't get in touch with him. What? I thought he was being questioned by a local unit. His questioning ended around noon. Oh. He hasn't been heard from since. So he just dipped. Why would he... I don't know. Something happened. Some shit's going down, and I guess we kind of don't have a guardian to... <sighs> okay. You're asking me that now? Yes. I'm asking you to sync with Mizuki because we have no progress. Well, you know, I was gone for the entire day. Maybe you could have dusted up something we needed i didn't think that the only thing you were gonna do was just get me well, i was gone since nine in the morning and the only thing you've accomplished is blackmail a doctor and get mizuki out of the hospital and now are putting her in a chair so i can do the rest of the investigation just saying boss your definition of progress is very minute where i was interviewing people i got a lot of facts that were helpful to the case just saying just saying, boss. Maybe I should be the Maybe boss. Maybe Mizuki saw something at the scene. Yeah, she saw a lot Maybe of shit. Maybe she went inside that merry-go-round to hide. Maybe. But she isn't answering any questions. We might just... The only way to find out is to dive into her subconscious mind. Don't you agree? Yeah. Like, from, like, a... Like, for us to get the clues, yes. That's the only way we're gonna get them right now. But, like, emotionally, I would rather go in her brain to help her through the trauma as opposed to getting clues. I mean, you could do both, I guess. You know? But... If we don't do it now, then when? This is exactly the kind of situation Abyss was founded for. What, when a girl is incapable of, of speaking, so you just circumvent her permission and put her in a chair so we can go into her mind to get... I mean, it is good in the set. Like, not this situation is good. This is pretty fucked in a lot of ways. Um, but, like, the idea that you could go into, like, a person who's willing's mind so, like, you'd, like, get facts about a case is kind of cool. It's a cool concept. But, like, this particular execution of it is not really my favorite. <laughs> Besides, if you dive into Mizuki's subconscious, you may be able to help her. Damn you, boss, pulling on my heartstrings. Don't you dare her make me do is that. Psychogenic. Okay. Physically, she's fine. Her injuries are mental. Yeah. Which is understandable after seeing her mother like that. Yeah. You may be able to heal her, Date. You just have to sync with her. I, I agree, boss. You got me there. I. You're the only one who can. <sighs> yeah, let's do this. We are ready to begin. Date, go to the sink room. Got it. Yeah, like I mean, that last part was strong enough for me to like. I felt compelled the same way. Like, Agent I Date, want to help her. Is reacting. Probably because she sees Date. Her heart rate is rising and her brain waves are showing signs of disturbance. Why? She may be getting nervous about the procedure. Date, try to calm her down. How do I do that? You don't know how to calm down your own roommate? It's true that she can't speak to you. But she can hear you. Try talking with her. Sure thing, boss. <laughs> like, I feel like you could so fuck this up. So here's what's gonna happen about the sink here, about Abyss. I mean, telling her about what's gonna happen is probably better. I'm gonna be inside your head. I'll be looking for clues about the culprit. Not only that, we will also attempt to discover the cause of Mizuki's muteness and rectify it. With her aphonia cured, we can ask her further questions directly. Mizuki's lying on the chair, so we can't even like monitor her I know it state. looks scary, but trust me, there's nothing to be afraid of. There's no pain, no side effects. When this is all over, You'll go back to your regular life like this never happened. I wouldn't say it's the best way to phrase that, because she will have shit that's gone, and that will never be the same. Like, her mother's gone. Dad aside, who we don't even know where he is now, but, like, even if he's alive, let's say they go back to normalcy, whatever normalcy is for her at this point, it's not like it's going to go back to normal. She's going to, she could function. 
but she's not gonna be like a back to a family like a, I mean a, two parents are not gonna exist after this you know that's Azuki I've never told you this but I'm not an ordinary policeman I'm actually a SWAT man <laughs> imagine just fucking I belong with to it. a special investigation unit called Abyss Advanced Brain Investigation Squad we explore the human mind with state-of-the-art technology and research. Now that just cut it out, but that is their purpose. There are a billion kinds of suspects and persons of interest out there. People that lie, people that don't say anything, people that have head injuries, or some that have deep mental wounds that keep them from talking. So, how do we get clues from these people? We have to get inside their heads. The truth is in their minds. Our job is to find it. I wonder how like this worked in the testing phases. Like I get it, like it's it's perfectly fine now or it's more stable now, but I'm very curious like how the testing ran. You know? Did they do this to like some crazy prisoner yet? Like have we gotten to that point? Have we tested it like on the pure extremes? Or is it only certain patients who qualify? Like do you have to be in certain parameters for them to even like like put this out there for you to do as an option? She's just still in the chair. I wish it would give me more options, but I guess we're Sinking is what we call diving into someone's subconscious mind. You sink deep down into their psyches, and you synchronize with their true selves. People like me are called sinkers. Sinkers enter the subject's subconscious, which is a dreamlike state we call somnia. Okay. It's Latin for dream. <laughs> well, I didn't know that, so that actually kind of helps me out a lot, personally. I like got a personal there's level. Six sinkers at Abyss. So there's five others. I'm one of them. Who are the other five? Now I'm curious, who are the other five? Because Boss obviously can't, or she would have done it. But who are the other sinkers? I wonder what their personalities are like. I guess now I'm just thinking of like the extra shit. But like when this is all over. Hey, Mizuki. When this is all over, what should I say? We can go hang out with Iris. Um, let's go get some sushi, let's go get some ramen, let's go get some unagi, let's make some of that stew you like. I think ramen. That ramen with the corn, it looks like pig slop. I thought it was garbage, but you loved it. I'll go get some with you. Date, your choice of words. I thought I chose pretty good words. I don't know about that. Date, her heart rate is steady. Is yeah, cause we're getting that ramen she likes. Okay, get into position. Let's begin. Oh, and special agent, I forgot to mention one thing. Yeah. I added a new feature to the sync system. New feature? Does like Iba get like a, a shotgun seat to come along too? Is that what you've added? You'll learn more when you're synced. It's very useful. Uh, sure. Huh. Got it. This is gonna be cool, cause maybe this is the first time we get to be Date moving in three in all. Fa I guess. I'm, I keep saying in 3D. We're in 3D, but he's going to be able to move in like all axes, which is going to be kind of cool. I don't know. This just kind of makes me want to play a game like Psychonauts. I played a little of it, and now I'm just like, oh man, I'm super. This is super interesting. Date, you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. Okay, ready anytime. Remember, Date. You have only six minutes in the Somnium world. Six minutes? Any longer, and your consciousness will be absorbed by the subjects. Yeah, I know. Okay. I gotta move we'll fast. Find the lead and get out in under six minutes. <sighs> That's kind of nerve-wracking, actually. Counting on you. Six minutes and get out. Well, and find secrets. I have to be on my toes. This is a lot to handle, man. I'm, like, not that good. <laughs> As I say that. I'm not that good. I'm like awful. Did you not see my dream sequence? Alright. Hopefully we can... Oh. Oh, sweet mother. What? Oh, am I just her again? I mean, not that it bothers me, but I would have preferred to have been both of them together. But I guess the point is they just want her model to move around. Because she really doesn't get, like, a physical form until this world comes into play. But we're definitely at the merry-go-round. 
What was that? Nothing. I was merely trying to enter the scene like a cybernetic assassin from the future. Don't you pull your Terminator references out on me? Get out of here, Iba. Well, if you're trying to do that, you'd have to do it naked. Oof. <laughs> Is this Bloom Park? Oh no, so it's a birdcage. Okay. So we're gonna have to actually be pretty smart in how we approach this. Because we have to figure out the way to unlock it and get to there. It's lightning in a birdcage. Maybe this is representative of Mizuki's state of mind. Yeah, well, she felt trapped. You just found her there. The fact that Shoko was killed here must weigh heavily on Mizuki's heart. Y yeah. Mizuki should be inside that column. To get the information we need, we will have to deal with the lightning and the cage and get to Mizuki. Mm -hmm. Move fast, or time is going to run out. Unnecessary. Look around. What do you mean, look around? Look around? This is the new feature of sync that Pewter mentioned. You can stop time? Only when standing still. Oh. Time is moving incredibly slowly. So we get more than six minutes if we stand slowly. Currently, you and I are transmitting information at high speed. Okay. So it only appears as though time has stopped. Are you familiar with the concept of time dilation? I... <laughs> I mean, my days of playing other games kind of brought it into perspective. I just never heard of someone talk about it fully. It has to do with relativity, right? Okay. Two people can experience time differently depending on space-time. This is similar to that. The flow of time in Somnium is different than the real world. Yeah, I kind of figured that's the approach you guys are going to go for. This could be useful. You can only stay in Somnium for six minutes, right? But with this, you could take your time and explore. Let's get started. Somnium scan. Activate. I mean, you get more time, but like you still have the allotted six minutes. It's just that like if you play it smart, you could stand over a certain area and delay time for quite a bit longer. Mental lock one. Okay, the lightning. Got it. Mental lock two, the birdcage. And I assume mental lock three, the column. Yeah. And that's it. Three locks, six minutes. That is... Yeah, heal her heart. She's mute. By healing her mental wounds, she may be able to get important info. To reach Mizuki, something must be done about the lightning that keeps striking the birdcage. Lightning's supposed to strike at the highest point. Oh, now the horses are moving? Mm -hmm. An ice pick piercing oh, Shoko's Oh, God, yeah. I mean, I guess you could remove that? Iba, the speaker over there shaking are they in oh they are in sync hmm. i see it must be connected to the ice pick what do we do here um healing mizuki should be your top priority i know there's six minutes insomnium a time is expended whenever Iba is moving or performing an action. Pay attention to the time remaining left in the upper right corner of the screen. Unlock all mental locks within the 360 second time limit. Well, that's uh, terrifying. So it still goes, but it goes a lot slower. We have An to look at her pick, stuff. Uh, push it. Pull it out is what I would think. No one would want to see their mother like this. Yeah, I figured that would help with the lightning. It's kind of a gimme. It keeps going. What is this? Something happened over there. And now the lightning's hitting that, so it's off the birdcage. Okay. So now we have two different paths of achieving the same second goal. Now how we approach that is different. It looks like we can get to the birdcage now. Our next step must be to remove it. All right. Date, we got a timey. What the hell's a timey? Time induction matter in encephalon. What the literal fuck does that mean? You can think of it as an item that affects the flow of time. Okay. Using this, you can slow down or speed up time insomnium. Is this another function pewter added? Correct. Sounds like a dream. Well, it is a dream. 
And because it is a dream, extraordinary things such as this are possible. Got it. Guess I'll try to use them where I can. Timies are items that affect time. You'll sometimes retain them when you perform an action. Timies only affect the time taken to perform an action. You're able to hold three timies. Picking up a timie when you already hold three will replace one. Timies are expended after one use, but use them as often as you can. Uh, so we have a microphone, gate, big bird cage. Uh, panda pieces? The panda is in awful shape. Put back together? Leave it to me. Uh. Or at least I thought I was. Do you suck at repairing things? Your overconfidence is your weakness. Okay, so that's useless. We've wasted uh Agent Dante, you've got five minutes. Okay. How do I use Oh, so I can retry back. I should save those because those are going to be useful later. I, I need her to get out of that. Okay, good. So let's try the microphone then. I mean, the control room seems like the obvious thing. This appears to be the microphone for the speaker. Yeah. Shout, threaten. Why would you threaten? <laughs> Stop it. Stop it already! Okay. I thought that would be... The control room of the merry-go-round lifted out of the ground. Make time one-fifth, make time half. I'd say... One half of what it is, or one-fifth of what it is? So it's either five seconds or two seconds. I should probably save these for now. We'll, uh, we'll just open it. Knocking doesn't seem like the correct path to turn it off. It is a control room. Maybe we can do something. Yeah, my idea is that you could turn it off. I do not think it will be that easy. Just try it. Yes. Seems relatively simple. Now, what we do in here is a whole other issue, but uh didn't expect to see this inside. Yeah. How deep did we go? I do not see an exit either. But there's something suspicious here. I see two bird cages. Well, one's of balloons and one is of one. Like there's something inside them. Take a look. Alright, so we have another fifth, which I guess is cool. Oh, so redirected the light. Mental lock that or that? A bird cage. Looks like a lot of photos. Of inside. Oh, oh, oh my god. Uh, make time like one fifth and we'll look inside. Let's see. What is it? It looks like a picture of something. Yeah, it's her childhood memories. Picture? Yeah, it's her childhood memories of her family. Yeah, I don't mind that if it meant that. A bird cage. There are ripped pieces of paper inside. Can I just back out for now? I already peeked inside, so that's not a big deal. But I just wanted to peek a bird inside. Cage with blown up rubbers inside. But there's one balloon that's dead there at the bottom. Also a deflated yeah. On the floor. Please don't say it like that. Could you please not call it a rubber? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Dante. You can say balloon. Yeah. I do not understand. It is clearly rubber. Oh my fucking god. Please. Okay. Time to 30. So I could like have it or I could... I mean, one fifth seems to be a more viable thing in certain situations. Like, it's pretty powerful. I didn't think that way though. Um, if I wanted to save time... I think I want to lift... I don't want to lift it though. I just want to peek inside. So I should save those one fifths, but I should probably make it half and W it because I want to keep that one there fifth because it's super good with these. Inside. Looks like they'd fly away if you lifted the cage. Yeah, which is why I figured. What would that accomplish? I don't know. 
Dream worlds are unpredictable. Cause and effect are screwed up here. Hmm. So we got another 30, which isn't the most helpful of these things. So we have a birdcage with a bunch of balloons, and we have a birdcage with, uh, paper, uh, sorry, with, uh, pictures. Are these tied in some way? Yes? A birdcage. Should we tackle it, though? No. I mean, I would rather lift the other one if I had to choose between the two. A bird. There are ripped pieces of paper in. Yeah. So I'm gonna activate. Well, I mean, I can make it force thirty and just lift the thing. Cause like one fifth is good, and we save a lot of time. But like, I don't guarantee we're gonna get more than. You know, I want to save our chances on some of these All things. Right. Leave it to me. Yeah. Uh, it is heavier than it looks. Uh. Okay. So we've chosen this one of the two. Um, they are both facts, but we chose the photos of their past as opposed to the broken rubber, which seems more like a memory. Nothing happened. All I did was move the cage. Yeah. Retry, will I have retreat the save point just by locking mental lock? But you have three retries, going back to one lock costs one, going back two costs two, and going back three locks costs all three. So that's important. You're grading your three retries by selecting restart from the menu or failing the psych. This will likely be your best option if time is low. But like, would I want to retry that hard? You've got four minutes. Would I even like want to go that far back? I don't think that there's anything wrong with the path I've chosen. These... There are torn pieces of paper. Yeah. Kick away, piece together. Uh, so now there's a guaranteed like segment I'd get. I would say do the one third and piece it together. We're getting a 30 out of it. Or, because kicking away seems dumb. It seems hella stupid. So I would take my chances and just, um, 30 it? No, because we're going to get a 30 back. So do I want to use the one third? Because we're going to get a 30 forced. Might as well just give a 34 30 then. Leave it to me. I enjoy puzzles like this. Please tell me you can put this together. It's not that hard. I mean, I'm adding, I'm putting a lot of time on myself, which isn't good, but yeah. That's why I thought that Panda was super but... important to her, because it's a memory she wants. Yeah, it's her family. You know, like things that she cherishes. Those are super massive. I just don't think the other rubber was worth it, compared to this memory, which is why it's so traumatizing for her. So the cage is gone. You were able to get out? And we have a photo, which is important. It ties us there. The rub, the the balloon that was deflated didn't seem as important to me. It's probably tied from the same memory, but just a different approach. Oh, she tore it up in the. It's probably when her parents divorced. When I asked Mizuki about, it, she started to cry. I don't know why she tore up that photo, but whatever her reason, it seemed like she regrets it. Since we repaired the photo insomnia in the birdcage. Mizuki must be having a hard time. For sure. But the cage is gone. We can get to Mizuki now. We have to slow it down. Do you not see the horses spinning at hurricane speeds? Yeah, we've we've analyzed a problem she has, but we still have not stopped the torrent of emotions that is Mizuki. She is still in pain. You can do it if you try a little. <laughs> I don't think it works that way, Date. I don't think it works that way no, at all. You can't. Okay. All right, fine. We oh, the panda's working. Oh, if we fix the panda head, we should be fine. I mean, they obviously did that, but... Um, you can see the current location objects you investigated on your Selmia map. If you're lost and want to save time, try checking the map. I mean... Just give me the map. So, uh... Okay. The gate, the parasol, the panda ride... Is that parasol even important? We were there already. I think that one's important, and I don't know about that one. Um, I think that that's more important in like a general stance. Fix the panda ride. Fix the girl. The panda head is spinning. Yeah. Uh, ride, spin more. <laughs> ride it, stop it. I think we. Waste a third to get a third, or waste a fifth? I think a, the fifth seems way too overpowered, so like saving it's really good. 
So we'll make it a third, and we'll just get another third. I think just stop the head. Why? Maybe it's like the speaker before. Yeah. I just don't have the time to be wasting on like riding it and the nonchalant funniness of it. I see. These were also linked. Yeah, because that's tied that's to her right. photo, her memory. I'm sure if like if it was the other way, the parasol would be more important. But now Mizuki's shown. Mizuki. Let's go to her. Got it. Um, you cho if you chose the correct answer as your final action, you can actually extend or exceed the 30 seconds. So, okay. So there's a second limit, but if you choose the correct answer as your final action, you can actually exceed 30 second, the 360 second time limit. Even if it seems like you don't have a lot of time left, don't give up. You might be able to do it. Um, Pierce, you don't, mm, more than one second. When you're clear, you get a prize, boss, anything but that. Z Why is he sleeping? Weird. All right, so I've been keeping our time a lot allowing down pretty well. Um, oh no, do I? Ooh, do I approach the horse or do I approach Mizuki? I. A merry-go-round horse. That's the one her mom was on. Talk, ride, sp <laughs> Um, I mean, I could waste a third and just do something. But I don't think talking to the horse would do anything. And there's no guarantee I'll get a good one. Um, I mean, I have good, like, thirds and stuff, so I don't... I think I have time? Let's talk to the thing. Excuse me, but do you happen to know the culprit? <laughs> at least you... At least it responded. I see. Did you learn something? I did. Beyond a shadow of a doubt. You don't know horse. Well, this horse... Cannot speak English. <laughs> Thanks, X Iva. Okay, I figured it was worth. Uh, you have three minutes, Dante. Trying. I mean, is there anything else we can do Amazing. with this horse? Make it one fourth. We can make it. Oh, did it remove it forcefully? It didn't care. I, I should just on thirty threw it on the thirty. We lost a good one. The fifth being gone hurts. Um. Then I might as well, I might as well use the, use a 30. No, that seems dumb. I need to save time. Cause I don't know how long that's going to take. And I should look at all these other things. The fact that she, <laughs> fucking hell, Iva. Is it fun? Does it look fun? I mean, you look like you're having the time of your life. You look cute like that. Yeah. Oh, I see. All right, well, uh, I look at the map, I guess. Is the parasol even important anymore? No, so it wasn't important initially. So then I was just kind of fucking around then. Okay, let's talk to Mizuki then. It's Mizuki. Hug her, make her laugh, smile at her, slap her. I would just hug her to be realistic. Um... I'm getting a 20 back anyway, but just hug her. She just wants compassion. Mizuki. Yeah, that's all she wants. Yeah. Poor girl. Aww. What? What the fuck is that? Man, this shit is always trippy, but like... I mean, I'm glad I hugged her and saved her. I wonder if you do it again, could you get Mizuki B? Um... I guess that's kind of the inherent point, is you're supposed to do the other way to, like, get the B. But, like, that's that's fine. I don't mind. Like, it's it's okay. I'll accept getting just one. I guess you're never going to always get both. Or maybe it was on the parasol and I just didn't go to it and I lost out on it. Totally could be a thing. Um, 
I don't know, but it's now day two, Saturday. Um, Meek AI. Or Meek High. Poor girl. She's been way, she's been, she had to go through too much. Are you okay? <laughs> Dante! Aww. Looks like she can talk again. <laughs> Thank you, Peter, for just laughing. Or sighing. Uh, uh, taking a sigh of relief is the better way to say that. So, good. We completed that. I didn't think that was the entirety of this, but that's cool. And after she calmed down, I asked her a few questions. I asked her about last night, about the Nile message, about Ota, and about Shoko. I know that after Ota ran off, something must have happened to make Mizuki want to hide. So, we are here. Might as well ask these questions, I guess. I mean, what's boss think? Thoughts on the suspect, about her mutinous, do you have any questions? Alright, so we're gonna ignore that for now. Does Pewter feel? How does Aiba appear in Somnium? About the figure I saw, do you think the suspect... I mean, these are important. I'm kind of curious why that works. Does he have any idea? Yeah. Like, why does she show up? Aiba is linked to your brain with an artificial nerve. Mm hmm To put it more simply, Aiba is a part of your brain. During sinking, your consciousness is sent into the subject's Somnium. Part of Aiba's self is also synced. But only a part. Not all of Iba's functions are transferred into Somnium. Mm hmm So that's why Somnium Iba is so dumb. <laughs> oh my god. Don't call me dumb. <laughs> yeah, that might be you're such a dick. It just means she's more free willing. It's probably why she can get drunk because she's not her full uh autonomous self. That actually explains a lot, to be fair. She's like a part of it. Yeah, but about the figure I saw, are you hungry? Are you hungry? I'm fine now, but I didn't forget your promise. Good, I'm glad. I'm glad. A promise? The ramen. Ramen? Yeah. You said you'd take me. So you heard that, huh? Aww. Aphonia only affects speech. Her hearing should still be intact. Sure, Mizuki. When we're all done here. Good. I'm glad that... That's kind of a nice way to start off. How you doing? I told you I'm fine. I'm just so annoying. I just care about you, Mizuki. Jesus. I annoyed you already, huh? <laughs> the pressure is annoying. Ah, uh, I see. What pressure? Force over area measured in Pascal's dummy. The fuck does that mean? I see she is back to her usual self. She's a fucking snot. She's a smart ass. She's a smart ass. That's what she is. Her attitude is within normal parameters. Is th that's normal? I think I liked her better when she was silent. Oh my fucking god, Dante. Alright. Well, she got any questions? Right. There was something. Hey, Mizuki. When we found you, you were holding the ice pick, right? Can you tell us why? I mean, it's important. When I got there, the ice pick was. It was. It was stuck in my mom's eye. I couldn't think straight. I. The only thing I could think was. I had to get it out. Mm hmm. I mean, that makes sense. That's a more understanding response. So you panicked and pulled it out? Yeah. And you held on to it when you hit in the column? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's important to know. What about that figure I saw? Say, Mizuki, who was that figure I saw? What? Insomnia, in your dream. I saw a silhouette. But she doesn't know it. Well, I mean, I guess in her state, she might not have actually recognized Dante. him. Mizuki would not understand the question. She does not experience Somnium as you do. Mm-hmm. You are witnessing a dream inside her brain. I see. I... You don't know? I can't tell you. Wait, what? Why can't you tell me? Why not? Because I don't want to. You don't want to? That's not a reason. Yeah, why don't you want to? 
You were at the scene of the crime because of that Nile message. Whoever sent it to you is a prime suspect. I don't think she is going to answer. All right. When she is in a mood, it's impossible to get her to talk. <sighs> All this work to get her to talk and she still doesn't want to say shit. That's the kind of girl she is. Yeah. <sighs> Sometimes I think you know her better than I do. Well, she just studies her re her reactions. How long do you think I've been observing her? Yeah. It's been four years now. Correct. I know things that even you do not know. Fucking weirdo. Like? Actually, never mind. Yeah, don't say shit to Some me. I tell you. Yeah. <laughs> good, good save there, Dante. By the way, we already looked into Mizuki's cell phone. Unfortunately, the contents were wiped. Of course. Of course they're wiped. I'm tracing the sender of the Nile message through other means, but it's taking me some time. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. How would I know? We still don't have enough information. I see. Continue your investigation, Special Agent. I'm just trying to think, like, where's the right... Um thing here could he work on what i saw or no because he should have seen it too no oh, that i saw it too who or what do you think it was hmm. most likely someone mizuki saw in person projected into a subconscious i see dreams can only be constructed from images and experiences the subject was present so it could have been we just don't have enough we probably would have to go back in to know who that person is but to be seen as a blue figure probably has something of importance to her Mizuki saw me and couldn't have contained that figure if she didn't see it in person. Mm. Of course, not everything we see in our dreams looks exactly the same as it did in the real world. You saw some strange things in Somnium earlier, didn't you, Dante? Yeah. That event you experienced is obviously not as it happened in reality. Dreams are a collage of many memories intertwining and blending with each other. Your skills as a sinker allow you to untangle those dreams and solve mysteries no one else can. Hmm. Gotcha, gotcha. Good to know. Alright, well, back to you, Mizuki. She can't answer that. So our mother, and well, she saw what no kid should ever have to see. It will take a while for her to get back to normal. I agree with that. About her mutinous, who I saw in Sonium. No need to report specifics. We saw it all from here on the control room. Gotcha. What the sinker sees in Somnium is projected here, remember? We've got it all recorded. I see. So you saw the entire encounter. <laughs> Isn't it incredible? I invented it. I'm glad you invented it, Pewter. Alright, good to know. Anyway, we know about the figure you saw. I wonder who that could be. I don't know if we should ask her any more questions until we get other questions okay, to ask. Just one more question. Okay. This is very important. When you pulled out the ice pick, was Shoko's eye still there? I'm pretty sure it wasn't. Oh. The eye socket was empty. Yeah. Thank you, Mizuki. That was very helpful. So that means the eye was already removed by that Wash time? shines in moments like this. Uh, she doesn't hesitate to ask anything. Now we know that Mizuki did not remove the victim's eye. Yeah, I guess that's good to know. When we got to the scene. It was definitely. So that means it was taken out before it got she got there. And it has not yet been recovered. We can therefore conclude it has been removed from the scene. But for what reason was it removed? So it's a mutinous, that doesn't matter. That's that's traumatic. Um Pewter, who do you think the culprit is? Most of these dialogue options well, you can easily see. just ignore, but... Perhaps... It was you, Special Agent Dotty. Why? What? <laughs> I'm kidding. Jesus Christ, Peter. Please shut up. I guess I'll just never ask you questions again. Um... Boss doesn't... I mean, I don't want to ask about her muteness. It's just traumatic. It's like a traumatic reaction. Yeah, I'm glad she's talking again. You healed the wounds in her heart by sinking with her. Mm -hmm. Well, you meaning you and Iba. The boss has extraordinary perception. I deserve much of the credit for helping Mizuki recover her voice. Yeah, 
Yeah. Well, I mean, it's because I don't have a physical form. Yeah, exactly. Date, Mizuki needs you. Protect her. Yeah, of course I will. I don't think there's much to ask her. Never mind. Did you see anyone at the merry-go-round the night you found Shoko? Oh, I didn't know that's what are this lead. Okay. I did. I saw someone. So that's who that blue man the is. Corner, past the merry-go-round. Oh. Who did you see? I don't know. It was dark and rainy. They looked scary, so I hid inside the merry-go-round. The door was open a little bit, so I snuck in. Okay, so that explains why she was there. Oh, so she's done. Okay. Peter has questions I don't care about. Hey, Peter. When we were in Somnium earlier, Iba was in human form. She's never looked like that before. That was Iba's idea. What? She asked for I that? I thought you would be more pleased. I designed it to your taste. <laughs> <laughs> Adorable Iva. Well, part of that was my taste. Yeah. I know everything inside your mind. You don't have to hide. That's it. fucking weird. Pewter Iva's broken. She's talking crazy. I am not broken. Perhaps Iva admires the human form. It's not that. It was just a little something. I consider Kaname Date to be my host. I owe him gratitude. And this is how you show him gratitude? I simply thought that appearance would make him happy. <laughs> Why would that make me happy? Interesting. Summarize for me. So anyway, I'd do that to summarize. I get the story. Okay. Weird. Mizuki witnessed a suspicious person at the scene, but she didn't get a good look at them. Maybe there's something at the scene we missed. Definitely. Date, could you return to the scene of the crime? Again? For like the third time? The third time? Yeah, I did think about that. There might be more to Bloom Park than we first thought. It's worth looking, I guess. Maybe we should bring her back with us? Alright, I guess we'll just go back to Bloom Park. Okay, and I guess with that, we'll wrap this episode up, though. Because I can't imagine much else to do? So it's late again. We're back here. Okay. So yeah, then I think we've accomplished enough that that's a good episode. I mean, we got to do some dream fighting. I mean, is it worth it for me to go back and, like, do the other path? Just get the other Mizuki? Uh, I'm not sure. Also, I don't even know what the A-B thing really does for it in a general sense. So, maybe it's not really worth it. Maybe it is. Uh, but anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in uh, whatever I make next. Laters.